World famous artist Vincent van Gogh achieved widespread acclaim only after he died. He never got to enjoy his success or see the powerful influence of his paintings on other artists. This morning, we meet another artist who once feared he could face obscurity. But as Nancy Chen shows us, New York painter Scott Kahn has found sudden success late in life, and he's enjoying every minute of it. How many pieces do you have left at this point? Well, that's a good question. I, I, I don't really know. Painter Scott Kahn worries he's running low on inventory. The stacks used to come out here and the racks were all filled up. These days, the 76-year-old's work is snatched up. Decades worth of paintings, once rarely noticed. I was convinced I would die in obscurity and poverty and that they would cart me out of there in a pine box. This painting is called The Curtains Parted. Khan spent his life as the definition of a starving artist, but his dedication always remained firm. It was my path. I had no choice. Before this relatively newfound success, you were close to zero. I'd been down to zero many times, below zero, negative zero. <laughs> That all changed dramatically a few years ago when he struck up an unlikely friendship with a reclusive artist named Matthew Wong. And I think it was just a spiritual connection, a huge respect for each other and each other's work. Wong was an up-and-coming painter who began finding enormous success, and his success kick-started cons. He bought a painting of mine and he put it on his Instagram feed, and that's what triggered this enormous interest in my work. People started streaming through my studio door, collectors, dealers, other artists, and it went on non-stop. Five years ago, how much was a painting of yours selling for? Well, just a few thousand dollars. And how much did your last painting sell for? One million dollars. Sadly, Wong never got to see his friend's accomplishments. He took his own life in 2019 at the age of 35. What did Matthew Wong mean to you? Matthew was a, a soulmate to me. And as Khan continues on the path Wong helped carve, his newfound recognition is a testament to unwavering commitment. He's very dedicated and obsessed. You need obsession. Mary Boone is a celebrated art dealer who's worked with iconic painters like John michel Basquiat. She says she's not surprised by Khan's achievements. How rare is it for an artist to achieve this kind of success this late in their career? If you're a great artist, which I think Scott is, hopefully it comes during your lifetime. How would you describe Scott's work? I mean, it has primitive aspects to it. It had spiritual. Why do you think it speaks to people so much? I think because of the dreamlike quality. I think people are interested in things that they don't completely understand. Khan doesn't pretend to understand his late success. He's just happy that it'll allow him to continue his passion. I have two priorities. One is life and the other is freedom. I love my painting. I will never stop painting, but life is what a journey it is, and at this point in my life, that has become more important to me than anything else. Since we sat down with Khan, one of his paintings has sold for a new personal record, $1.2 million. Mm. Now, despite his recent success, he still lives a frugal life, even now, and says he was always satisfied simply by his work. And you consider the fact that just a few years ago, he was living in his cousin's attic yeah. and just making it by day by day. And now he's selling a painting for $1.2 million. I know there are certain comparisons that are blasphemous in the art world, but there is a like a Van Gogh quality mm -hmm. to some of his art, like that starry night, very yes. dreamy aspect, a little dreary, um, but also has depth. It's really, really... It's gorgeous. It, gorgeous. And so vibrant. But what I love is that this is really the power of social media. Had that other person, his friend, not posted a picture of his art, none of this would have happened. But it almost didn't matter because he says he does it for the love of his art form. And it's beautiful art it is. That's right. Thank you so much, Nancy Chin. We appreciate you. We'll be right back.